campaign is called Meatless Monday. Meatless Mondays. Meatless Mondays. More than 600,000 Los Angeles public school kids are getting vegetarian meals in their school cafeterias. Monday is a chance to start the week in a new, healthier way. We should definitely do Meatless Mondays. It's part of the San Diego Unified School District's focused effort to get kids to eat healthier. And welcome back to Dawn. Meatless Mondays, eat less meat. That's the focus. Rachel Atchison, we want to bring on the show, Philadelphia Director for the Humane League, and Aaron Ross, National Director of Campaigns for the Humane League. Thanks for being here today. Glad to be here. Thank you so much. So um, I was telling both of you before the show started that my nine-year-old Michael has never eaten meat. And there are no vegans in the entire family. Of course, the grandparents were saying, what is this, something new? You're sorry. I said, no, he's just this old soul, and he's never ever in his life eaten meat. And so it always makes me sensitive to organizations like the Humane League and how this all came about because it just wasn't really on my radar. So were both of you, you were not like Michael though, you, you ate meat at some point in your Definitely. lives. Absolutely. I, was, I ate meat all throughout high school. My senior year of high school, I chose to go vegetarian. Then I chose to go vegan. And was that because, was it for health reasons or just because you decided this was something you wanted to do or both? For me it was, uh, I was in AP environmental science class and I was looking at how many resources go into meat production and I just thought, I don't need to eat meat, I'll keep it off my plate. And for you? And I used to love meat, meat used to be my favorite food, but once I learned about how the animals were treated, mm -hmm. that's when I decided I think it's time to go vegetarian and then I also learned about dairy production and egg production and decided to go vegan about a year later. And I've been vegan now for about 13 years. Okay, interesting. So what do you do within the, within the Humane League? Is it something where you try to um, spread, a, you're obviously doing commercials. We saw a clip of your commercials. So you're trying to spread awareness about all of this. Definitely, so we're a vegetarian advocacy organization and we go into high schools and colleges and present about factory farming and we really try and spread awareness. Um, and this campaign, this Meatless Monday campaign, is our newest campaign where we're actually trying to have the Philadelphia School District enact Meatless Mondays throughout all of their cafeterias. And so the first question I get with my son Michael, people will say, oh, so he eats chicken? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I'll say, no, no, he doesn't eat meat. Chicken yeah. is meat. <laughs> so, uh, so it's interesting to me, though, through my son, the education that I've gotten. And I imagine you get some funny questions from people that people thought, thought I was talking about red meat. You're talking about all meat, chicken, beef, meat. Right, absolutely. And so then the second thing people say is, well, how does he get his protein? Sure, uh, plant foods, plant-based foods are the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. And they are just packed full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants, uh, disease-fighting phytochemicals, and protein. So that's why more and more people are choosing meat-free diets. And so the Meatless Monday um, concept that you're trying to push is also something where it's a lower cholesterol. Uh, you know, it's not just the education of saying, hey kids, you should eat more vegetables and healthy foods, but it's also healthful for you as, a, as an individual because of the lower cholesterol, lower fat, and all of that, right? Definitely, cholesterol and saturated fats are actually only in animal products. So if we're trying to, improve the health of our kids, we really want to be uh, influencing them to choose more meatless meals. Okay, and so what are some of the things that you want people to know about eating a, a vegan diet? Sure, well one, that it's very, very easy to do. And if you go into any restaurant today, any grocery store, you're gonna find scores of vegetarian options. It's just becoming more and more popular. Entire school districts now are starting to implement uh, Meatless Monday programs. Uh, the Los Angeles Unified School District is doing Meatless Mondays. The D Detroit uh, Public Schools are doing Meatless Mondays now. And now we're asking Philadelphia schools to join the movement and endorse this program to get kids started on a healthy path of healthy eating. Well, and I think part of it is, I know for, for my kids, just because of Michael, we tend to look at labels more. We tend to be, even David, my seven-year-old, does eat meat, uh, chicken, but it's organic. Mm -hmm. It's cage-free eggs if he has eggs, um, and even though Michael just doesn't do any of that. Um, but what people also don't realize is there are vegan cheeses, there are vegan, there's vegan everything. There's vegan everything. And it's healthier. 
That's Definitely. right. And there's even vegan cupcakes as we brought you here today. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, are they, they're raspberry? They are dark chocolate and raspberry cupcakes. And they're completely vegan, so there's no milk and there are no eggs in those cupcakes. So how do you get them moist? What do you put in there? So there are tons of things you can use for egg replacers. Uh, you can use flaxseed, you can use bananas. You can also use egg replacers. They sell boxed egg replacers in the grocery store you can get as well. Yeah, the flaxseed is a big one. That's, mm -hmm. so, that's a great one that Absolutely. I use. And they have your omega-3s in there as well. Yeah, and the bananas, the fruits. I mean, mm. that's, all of these, th these things are so healthy. Sweet potatoes, you could put sweet potatoes in there if you want. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I'll definitely bring these home to, to Michael and David because they love, well, of course, Michael will love it because it's vegan, but also it's dark chocolate, which is his favorite. Right. Wonderful. It's awesome. Well, I thank you so much. Um, and any time I can spread awareness about this and share share Michael's journey uh, and what he's taught me and, and sort of bring it out that, you know, that you're just trying to get people to be more aware and also to be healthier. Absolutely. And it's really thank what you it's so all much. about. Yeah, thank you so you much for much. being here today. And the Dawn Show is going to continue with more good food. I'm going to grab a cupcake. Be right back. <laughs>